Yeah. Is that a gar? It is. Well, what's up, guys? Um, so I'm hanging out with Kelvin. He's holding the camera right now. And we're going to do a little uh, creek fishing mission. It's honestly, I feel like it's been forever since I've done this. Uh, but we've got a nice creek that runs through town here. Uh, we're going to grab some worms and stuff. I've got uh, a couple of crappie in the cooler that we can chop up for bait. We've got a few rods and we've got a few different spots that we can go to down here. And we're just going to see if we can make something happen. Uh, we might cook something up if we catch something good enough. We'll see if we're feeling ambitious enough for that. But yeah, we're going to do a bit of fishing, guys. Stay tuned. I don't exactly know where it is. Oh, I should have brought my discs. Do you play disc golf at all? I have never played disc you golf. Never before. played disc golf. We might have to do that a little later. I got a, I got a thing of cheap discs at home. I think I got two basic sets. There's a really nice disc golf course here. They come from all over to play tournaments here. I don't exactly know where this is at down here. Where we need to go over. There's a bench right there. There might be a little access point there. So this had something to do with like the Oxbow Trail. There was an originally like a, they crossed here or something. I think over on the other side of town, we just passed actually at the gas station, there's a, um, like a sign that talks about it or something. But we're here. So guys, we stopped at the post office and I got a letter in the mail. Uh, how's that? Is it too bright behind me? It's actually kind of dark on your, it's better now. It's good. Better right. now? Um, I don't want to show you the address. Looks like California. It's kind of hard to read. La Hebra, California. Um, so yeah, we'll check this out. Before we get into fishing here. Another letter. Alright, is there other probably pictures or something? No? Yeah? Yeah sticker there's no no note or nothing but there's an awesome sticker in here dang yeah <laughs> so i'll put this one on my brand new cooler it'll go nicely with it because it's blue that's a really cool sticker um so i think i can't i can't liddy liddyol liddyoff liddyol i don't know exactly what the name is and i'm sorry but it looks like it came from la Hebra, california is that right um, something like that so yeah thank you that's an awesome sticker i don't have the the new cooler with me we got the old junkie cooler because there's some dead fish in there that we might use for bait so um yeah and we can easily drag that one down to the uh the side of the water there but that's awesome i appreciate it that's definitely going on the cooler thank you all right we're gonna see if we're in the right spot and we're gonna do some fishing stay tuned yeah this is one of the keys i think for the disc golf course right here off and maybe that's the first one. I don't know, it goes all the way on the other side of the road. Oh, it's the perfect spot, but can we actually get down there? Maybe not. I'm gonna uh, say not here. Yeah. There used to be a bridge or something right here. Yeah, and there's a little, I don't know if it's actually a dam or if it's a considered a weir or something like that. I mean, it's public access on the other side, but that looks steep as shit, too. All right, I gotta make it all the way down there. I know the you can't really tell on camera, but it's pretty dang steep. We're gonna try not to fall and break anything here. I just got two rods with me. It's kind of gonna have to be one of those like butt slides, almost. Hold on to the tree here. Yeah. Set my rod down, go down a little ways. Yep, I am straight up on my butt. But that's okay. As long as I don't get a stick in my hole.
and here we are. I guess I still got a little ways to go. Oh. Huh. It's an old couch or something, it's a chair. All right, we made it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get across that. Looks pretty sloppy. I'm gonna like sink in really fast if I'm not careful. Mm. It's see, there's a lot of standing water right there. Might try and throw that bobber down there maybe and see. Maybe throw a rock down to get you in. There we go, guys. We've made it. Pretty cool spot. Yeah, there's like there used to be a bridge or something right behind us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get rigged up, start casting some lines out, and we'll see what we can do. All right, guys. I just tied on a little jig head with a grub on it. Uh, that's a quarter ounce, and we're gonna toss this around. If this doesn't work, I'll put a worm on here. We did pick up some worms, so we're just gonna get after it. Try not to snag her up right away. I need to get my other rod rig, but I kind of wanted to see what the, the current's like right here. It's really not deep at all right here. This might not be the juice, but. Kelvin's on. You lose it. Kelvin caught something down there. I think you put a worm on right away. Yeah, it's just super shallow right here. Like I can see my bait on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Doo -doo, doo -doo. Probably not. More anything, I'm surprised I haven't snagged it. Oh, there we go. And it broke off. That didn't take much. All right, well, I'm gonna get something else tied on and I think I'm gonna move down farther that way or something because it's just way too shallow right here and he got a bite already so we're gonna change it up and move all right i'm going down here i guess you my worms are breaking spider webs on my face Ooh, that looks nice and steep shit how do you even get down there it's a crazy man Ass is all dirty. Now how do I get across this slop? Bugs in my ears. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, it's sloppy! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> little mud on my shoes, y'all. Be all right. You got like tree stuff hanging in your hair. Oh shit, it need to be on that side of it anyways. This over, this is super wild right there, right? A little sloppy. Yeah, you definitely wore the wrong thing. Slip-ons weren't the... Remember the, you suggested waders yesterday? Yeah, waders would have been a good idea. Yeah, shit, I should have gone down even farther. really don't want to go like ankle deep into the mud ooh, ooh, ooh. can you yeah yeah there ain't much room over here is there yeah, go, go over here. oh shit. <laughs> you think that was like really big do i think it was yeah probably not we straighten it out yeah well i mean it'd make a good uh feel like this is going to be entirely too big to use here. <laughs> well guys, my crappie's frozen solid, so I'm going to do a crawler ball on here. I don't have my rag with me. We're just going to drop this in, kind of hang on to it, see if we can get something to hit. So I've got one ounce of weight on there. I think it's an eight-aught circle hook. And uh, yeah, 
don't know. We'll just see what happens with that. Oops, something's pulling on my line. There we go. There we go. I got one. Is that a big drum? It's a big drum. That's a good sized drum too. Bam, crawler ball on the bottom. Nice fat drum guy. Do you want to keep him or nah? I don't know, you ever ate one? I have, yeah. You like it? They're not bad at all. Plug it. Toss them in the cooler. All right, we're gonna keep this guy. I don't know if we're gonna eat him or what we're gonna do with him, but he's going in the bag. I'm gonna just throw that back in the cooler. Chill. All right, we'll put some more worms on. That didn't take too terribly long, and we'll get it casted back out there and see if we can hook into another one. Kelvin got hammered, popped off though. All right, guys, so uh, we haven't caught anything else. We're getting ready to move. We're going to go. There's a big bend right behind me. We're going to go over that way and see if we can catch something. I've fished over there before, uh, and I know there's some deeper spots. So we'll see if we can hook up with anything else. Stay tuned. The lens is nice and All right, guys, so we've made it down to a different spot. There's a guy down there catfishing. Uh, we're just getting set up. I just pot, got this one pole tossed out so far with the half dead worms that we were using on the other side of the stream. So this curves around and we were just over there. Uh, but I'm going to get my other rod set back up. Probably something similar to what's on this catfish rod. I should have just brought my other catfish rod down. But I'll get back to you guys if we catch anything. Yeah, I thought I got hit. Oh, I got two rods out. Now, guys, they're both just worms sitting on the bottom. With it. Yeah. Is that a gar? It is. Gar. Yeah. That's my first gar. <laughs> Filled the trays with that. And the did ice he swallow in. that sucker? He did. Uh oh. You're, uh, you got needle nose pliers? I do. Gosh, should I keep him? No. I've heard they're like lobster. That's a pretty cool fish. It is. Keep your fingers away from them, that, them teeth. Mm-hmm. That's a... Bite, it, it will tear them open. You're going to hold your rod, you got it. You just can't open it. I got it. That's my... See the worm there? Oop, sure. oop. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, he's... Oh, I can see the hook. Here, I'll hold this. Here, we'll just set her down. Oop. <clears throat> uh, I'm surprised he hasn't just cut the line, honestly. Yeah, really. Like that. Actually, let me get my other camera out so you can film with that. Right. The fuck? Oh, it's a rain. Oop, there we go. Yeah, well, self release. I want to get a picture with him from my YouTube. Oh, he did. He did bite the hook off. Yeah, he took the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Keep your fingers away from them. Teeth, I guarantee you. Nibble them off. Oh, he'll tear them up. Here, Calvin, can you film for me? Well guys, I have officially, oh, he's dirty, there he goes. <laughs> Watch it, they're wiggly. They are wiggly. So, that's my first gar. If he was a little bit bigger, I'd probably keep him and try to eat him, because I heard these guys are pretty tasty, but he's pretty small. Uh, they've got some crazy teeth in there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that at all. His mouth's closed. But he ended up breaking my hook off once we got him in here. He started flopping around, so. Anyways, we're going to dump this guy back in the water, but it was really awesome to catch him. Send him back down in there. Nice yeah. job. That was awesome, guys. <laughs> awesome. 
I'm having a beer in celebration of my first car down here, probably illegally on the riverbank, but it's all right. So stay tuned, guys. Oh, fish on, fish on. Another gar, another gar. Hell yeah, guys. He's fighting pretty good. That's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Hell yeah. Oh, and self-release. Did he break me off again? No, not that time. Well, I hope you guys saw that. I literally took my first sip of my beer and got hammered. I'm just using a tiny little hook like this um, and a tiny little split shot and letting it sit on the bottom with a worm on it. And they're picking it up right off the bottom. I don't know if the worm is floating up a little ways, but and gar are usually pretty hard to hook because they have super narrow, long mouths with these tiny little teeth and it's hard. And so, yeah, a lot of guys will use like a hook, like a, a hair rig or whatever with a bunch of hair coming off of it. And it just tangles in and around their mouth. That was sweetness. Yeah, all right. Can you get in off the nope, right? I go this way a little ways. Yeah, and they were kind of, that was both times it was a bit farther out towards the middle. All right, I'm gonna finally get a drink of this. Yeah, it's moving. Come on. You haven't caught a fish yet. Hurry up. My other one's getting hit too. It's still got it, whatever it is. You gotta hook it up. Right. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. another garfish probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mine got tapped too. Bummer, Kelvin. Oh, you got robbed for all your bait. Mine was getting tapped, but I don't think there's anything on it. You don't know what oh no, I got one. Got I got one. I got one. That's a drum. Yeah. A little drum. Little drum. These worms are hating life. They're dead. Oh. Oop. Oop. Should we throw this one in the bag too? Um, let him go. We got a, yeah. that big ass one. We'll let this dude go. Oh, well, nice little drum guy, guys. But we're going to toss him back in the water. Shoot. We didn't even get all my worm. Dang, Kelvin. For 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to steal your fish. There you go, Kelvin. You got one. You got one. Hell yeah, nice gar. Hell yeah. Get that. Hell yeah, Kelvin. There you go, bud. Hell yeah. Let me get the let me get the big camera out. There you go, Kelvin hooked up with a nice one. Right on the bank with the bobbers. Yeah. Not a bad one. It's about the same size probably. That looks like it might be a little bit longer. That's what she said. <laughs> you got pliers if you need them. It was right on the outside, so it should be. There we go. There we go. Huh. Cool fish. Well, there we go, y'all. Awesome. We oh. Ed released. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get bit by a... Well, I'm happy that Kelvin hooked up. We both hooked up with a fish today. Uh, a couple gar, I've caught a couple drum. We're gonna keep fishing for a little while longer, guys. See if we can hook up into anything else and keep our fingers crossed. But it's been a good day so far, so stay tuned. We moved down a little ways, guys. Uh, the other guy left. We're getting ready to pack up our stuff too. Um, but. Kelvin tossed a couple lines out. It's really calm right here. Oh yeah, look at that big wake out there. Came this way. There's something big out there. I came over here because I kept seeing these bubbles right there in the water. It's like continuous. Yeah, I don't know if that's carp or what. It's big, whatever the hell it is. I need to come, I need to fish this spot more often, I guess. Ooh, ooh. 
Be careful. <laughs> About to lose it. All right, guys, we're back in the rig. Uh, we caught a few fish. What did I got? Two drum and one gar that yes. I actually got to the bank, and then we, we did lost a, two or three gar. Yeah, we for sure had probably six fish today. We did quick releases on a few of them, but uh, we had plenty of bites. I think. <laughs> Is he people doing you need a love seat? I'll come down here and sleep on that. <laughs> no, no thanks. Um, but yeah, we had some luck today. I haven't fished the creek here in a while, and it's it's been quite a while since I've just gone out on like a creek fishing mission. So it was good to get out. It was good to catch some fish. It's my first gar that I ever caught. I've hooked into a couple of them on this same creek and you either just get broken off right away or they get off the hook because they're they got that you know long narrow little mouth it's hard to get them hooked but it was awesome to catch one have you caught them before no so i've seen your... them i've never never caught one before so it was your first one too it's my first one yeah. well awesome we both caught a new species today same species but it was our both of us our first hookup on that so that's rad uh overall it was a great day um me and Kelvin are going to get out probably, what, next week? A little bit more. Yeah. And we'll go somewhere and hit up some more places. Do something a little different. Um, yeah. Get the kayaks out, maybe? Yeah, I mean, you want to wanna do a, <laughs> you want to do the river float next week? That'd be we'll sweet. That. Yeah, we'll get that planned. I'm not going to tell you guys about that. Uh, me and Kelvin are going to do something cool next week, hopefully. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. You got anything you want to add? No, I think we're good. And, uh... I guess I'll see you guys on the next adventure. I guess I need to say stay tuned. Stay tuned guys. I'll see you on the next adventure.